we've heard wonderful expressions of gratitude. Throughout the afternoon, ministers gathered underneath this worship space and shared visions, compassion, cooperation, and hope. I, uh, I wrote some of these words of wisdom that I heard from downstairs. Souls of humility and service. Place of peace apart. Faith. How do you do? Common action. Peaceful mind leads to a peaceful earth. Folks. 
folks were being healed, fed, free, and forgiven. Fear of compromising closed their hearts and minds and bound their hands. Indeed, fear drove them to violence. Gratitude, it seems to me, comes from another place. The gratitude I feel for the ways each of our faith traditions manifest compassion to our neighbors now in my life highlights the word cooperation to me over that of without compromise in the Navy chapter of Mark. Cooperation. Through the relationships fostered among us, through the good work of the Center for Interfaith Relations, I find a fear of compromising is slowly being replaced with a gratitude for giftedness. Gratitude motivates cooperation for the common good so as to deepen the manifestation of compassion in our city. You know, the word thanksgiving that we give to our service tonight can be misleading, it seems to me. As if gratitude was something we give to God. In reality, gratitude is a gift God instills in us. Gratitude is a gift from God that empowers us with courage, confidence, trust, openness, inspiration, and faith. In my teaching of homiletics, I try to instill in preachers the truth that fear is not a good motivator of behavior. Fear has tiny legs that will only take a person so far. Once the threat dissipates, so does the motivation. Gratitude, on the other hand, has long legs that can run marathons. For gratitude grows out our trust and finds its origins in God's great love for each of us. My prayer tonight is that we each gifted with the gratitude needed to courageously cooperate with one another in new ways. So as to make compassion blossom in our city. May our cooperation with one another inspire.